Today, we're gonna be checking out some of the craziest science experiments. The last science experiment could end the world. Elephant toothpaste. Hey, they did this at David Dobrik's place, right? Yeah! That poor elephant. Dude. You could brush everyone's teeth in this neighborhood. They didn't even cover the camera. Oh my god, the one time there was no cameraman because it was too dangerous. I didn't see an elephant though. Disappointed. When it comes to fire, the most common color is probably orange or red. Or blue. And blue flames look so cool. Like what? What I've always found interesting though, was how many other colors are possible, and it can really depend on what's burning. For example, if I add a solution- Can you burn water? I don't methanol, think so. And light it on fire, I get a really green nice flame. green color. Green goblin? I can also throw some aluminum into an acidic copper solution. Aluminum? Oh, is that I how you get the blue, blue flames? Flame. Oh my god, I think it's from Minecraft. I wish all fire was blue. It looks so cool. It looks so cool. Even cooler though, is Wait, what happens then when blue? I burn nitromethane. It just explodes. <laughs> it actually doesn't burn on its own, and I have to give it a boost with some methanol. Ah, uh, yes. Just a drop now of whatever you it, just said. I get a flame. White flame. No Goat color. flame. There is a slight hint of yellow, but besides that... That's pretty cool. It almost looks like it's in black and white. I can start a fire, too. Uh, don't do that. <laughs> but that's why I was banned from my last apartment. I wonder why. A while ago, I made all this scary bromine in my parents' garage, and now I've decided that I want to throw some aluminum into it. I've heard you couldn't drop it. What happens when you drop bro to me? Dude, I don't even know what you're saying. You understand these chemicals? I don't know I what you're saying. I saw it before. He was like, this is bro to me. And then it said, oh god, don't drop it. Okay, so he shouldn't drop this. That's what you're saying. Don't drop yes, that. Tube. I, I just don't have know to why drop some aluminum foil and wait for it to get started. Why it's on fire? You created the little <laughs> nether. There's the nether in there. It's like a little firework. At the bottom, I'm I would with drink a bunch that. of dirty aluminum bromide salt. And after waiting about 10 minutes, it shouldn't be as hot anymore. Now what I have to do is try and carefully get it out of the tube. There's more? But <laughs> she broke it with the hammer. Now this is Frozone in real life. But I've seen this before. <laughs> it's so hot. It is hot. Really hot. So that's not hot, man. You're creating ice. What are you talking about? This is ice? It kind of looks like a candle, a molten candle. TikTok logo. Pretty cool. No. <laughs> kind of looks like whipped cream. I thought you were gonna be Frozone. I thought you were gonna be able to shoot like ice from your tips. I thought you were gonna say, "Where's my super suit?" Um, yellow powder. This looks like a generic yellow powder, but I think uh -huh. it's pretty cool. The truth is, I peed in sand. That's why it's yellow. It does look like sand. If I add it to some water, it all floats on top, which isn't too interesting. If I put my fingers in it, though, it has a really weird effect. Whoa! This is happening because all of this powder, which is something called like a podium, it protects you? is strongly hydrophobic. It oh my really doesn't like mixing with water, and instead, it just forms a weird, goopy-looking look layer around my fingers are you telling me i could scuba dive with this and i wouldn't get wet there's so many possibilities with these experiments mm -hmm. what i think is interesting though is that when i take my fingers out they're still completely dry they are completely dry how come nothing is being made out of this Something else that i want to try is burning it and on its own not very much happens you're toasting it so instead i've added a bunch of it to a plastic squirt bottle and i've taped a lighter to it this way it can be sprayed out as a dust and mixed with air and it's definitely a Yo, lot better. Don't mess with this guy. Imagine what he could do if he just went to like a local store. <laughs> like imagine. <laughs> Did you know aluminum cans have a plastic liner on the inside? No. Not gonna lie. I'm curious to see what that looks like. We're gonna start by making a sodium hydroxide bath. Why couldn't I have a chemistry teacher like this? We're gonna scuff up the outside of the can with a little sandpaper and then immerse it in the sodium hydroxide bath. That's so whack. What's well, gonna happen though? The reaction is a between sodium weapon. hydroxide and aluminum, which liberates hydrogen gas. The bubbles you see here. It just fell over. Something happened. That was so fake. <laughs> what was that? What is this? You made it fat. You made fat Coca-Cola. Don't drink that. What? I wouldn't drink that. He's gonna drink this it. This experiment was totally worth it. I don't know what you did. You just made the Coca-Cola like <laughs> empty. Dry ago, ice maker. I bought a dry ice maker which was pretty much you just can a buy denim that? sock 
strapped to a CO2 tank. Wait, I can buy dry ice maker? Amazon. <laughs> oh my god. I don't think the credit card company would be uh, very happy in that first. <laughs> I, I can. And I will. What are you going to do with it? It's a business expense. You're going to poison yourself. You better keep a bucket of milk next to you. I can take it. It's 100 grams of pure gold. At around $57 US per gram, it's worth about $5,700, and it's one of the most expensive and precious things that I own. But anyway, I think I'm just gonna destroy it using acid. Why? Why, dude? $57,000, the most precious thing you've ever had, and you're going to burn it with acid? What's gonna happen? All I have to do is pour in a bunch of concentrated hydrochloric acid, and I'll bring this to a boil. Right now, not much is happening, and I have to add some nitric acid. No, don't burn the, the gold. gold. Starts getting torn apart. No. I then kept occasionally adding acid. You could have given that to me. Hours, it slowly disintegrated. Dude. Oh, he's like melting completely. My pee pee in the shower it when it's cold. What I was left with was a <laughs> now drink. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm going to be immortal. I'm going to turn myself into gold. Which turned to orange after it cooled down. There was also no trace of the gold bar, and it's almost like it never existed. I should say, though, that the gold hasn't actually vanished, and it's just in a water soluble form called chlorouric acid. It's actually very uh -huh. easy Don't to drop get it. the gold back. <laughs> and I'll Don't show you, you drop how to do it. that in a he dropped it. He dropped my pecan. Are you kidding me? Lick God. that up. <laughs> Lick it up, man. <laughs> Dissolving a glizzy. Okay, so today I've decided to dissolve my wiener in acid. Oh! I'm not don't say it like that. Acid, though, and I'm gonna be using something special called piranha. Solution. Don't drop it. It's a hot and angry mixture of sulfuric acid and hydrogen peroxide, and I basically just have to drop it in. Don't do it. No! It almost oh. immediately turns black, what? and this is all carbon. Now, if I add some more peroxide, I can vaporize the carbon and turn it into CO2 gas. I think it's, it's pretty boiling. obvious, but I'm still going to mention it. Hey, yo, Jimmy Fox is really dangerous. If any of this splashed on me, it would do something very similar, which wouldn't be super pleasant. I don't even see it anymore. Oh, what's inside a glizzy? Literally the darkness. It's still going. It eventually looked like there was barely any of it left, and it was just a sad little meat noodle. Is that what it was? Then, over the next 30 seconds or so, it calmed down, and it was ready for another wiener. <laughs> <laughs> Stay away from this man. So he just told us how to hide our bodies. If you take someone out, instead of like burring the body, you should burn it in acid. That way it leaves nothing. Hmm. Only the wiener part though. The rest doesn't work. Interesting. If you guys enjoyed that, make sure to check out those guys that made the content. The links are down below. And if you enjoyed our reaction, uh, make sure to subscribe. And uh, check out Sox1.com for cool merch like this.